She looks like she's going for a show and she's the mistress to the king. Welcome back to my channel and if today is your first time stopping by, welcome and if you're returning, I do appreciate, I'm so happy you are and yet again we have another video, it's another best dress and worst dress fashion video that we have, okay? So today we'll be talking about the Future Awards Africa 2018 attendees. We mostly focused on the ladies and we'll see what they're putting on and I'll tell you guys my opinion but before I start, please do not forget to subscribe, like and share and leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? So basically, um, just so you know, this video is in no way trying to defame anybody or bash anybody. If you don't like my opinion, you can kindly stop watching. Her name is Tommy K underscore A on Instagram. I do really like her outfit. She like how it's like two different colors were able to meet and the black and the red belt to go with it. I think this was a brilliant look. It was really safe, really casual and everything. Um, Ifu and Nada. And looking at her outfit, if I'm being completely honest, I felt it was too much. Because I can see here yeah, that she has a head scarf on, she has like a shawl over underneath, on like underneath the outfit as well. And I just felt like, oh wait, hold on. First of all, Nigeria is freaking hot. Why are you tying your hair? Why are you wearing a shawl? I just felt like it was too much, like like it was just too much. Plus the scarf was not also the same color with the dress itself. I would have just rather just the dress and make your hair straight black or something like that but overall everything looks good it just you know what i'm saying miss b she has like this olive green dress i feel like this is so beautiful i feel like this really complemented her skin i like how simple it looks at the same time looking at it, it gives me this indian vibe but it's like this boss lady indian vibe kind of like vibe i got lola oj so the thing is i have always loved lola, um, lola oj's outfit i've always loved how she's like limitless she doesn't have limit to how far she can go at the same time with her cousin like if they're going out they're going all out but to be honest it's just like the more i look at this outfit the more I'm just like, every, it, it's like when you just look at her from head to toe, everything just keeps going south. I don't know if it's just me, I'm looking at the hair, then I'm looking at the top with the black bra inside, I'm looking at the skirt, I'm looking at the shoe. Just like, first of all, this um, top has like some ruffles on the hand, then you put on a black bra, okay. Then you put on a colored skirt that has three different materials, you, you put polka dot, you put some other materials. Then you finish the look by putting on the shoe. I'm just like, what is going on here? At this point, it's just too much. It's like, how do I put it? It's just, it's just like a mesh of patterns together. Like, there's just too much going on. The shoe is that has a bow tie in front. Like, it's just like, how far can you go? I just like, this was too much going on. If she had just worn the top and the upside of the skirt with some black shoe, I get it. But it's just, at some point, it was no longer flattering anymore. And I don't, like honestly, I don't really understand the outfit, Amanda Dara. I really like Amanda Dara's outfit. I feel like it was quite playful. I mean, as I said again, it's hot right now. And like, just you know, like a net, it's like really like casual. I really like the outfit, it looks cute on her. The headpiece goes with her, with her clutch. I feel like this was a beautiful look. Jemima Osunde, she looks really pretty. Once I saw her outfit, I originally thought that this was Sharon OJ because first of all the pose gave me the Sharon OJ vibe. The look, I believe this is something that for sure, for sure, Sharon OJ could put on. This is a beautiful look. I like how she only played the two colors, but it came out to look really beautiful and everything. My name is Bukola, that's her name on Instagram. I really like her outfit. It's just a simple blue dress, but if you zoom in, you will notice that it's, um, it has like a bow tie and the middle part are actually carries. And carries are like royalties, are made mostly for royalties. They are mostly used for accessories like handbands, earrings, necklace for royalties. So I like how she's going for the fashion, sorry, sorry, she's going for the future award Africa and she's bringing a bit of culture with her. I felt like that was a beautiful idea. I know some people will notice that but I think it's look beautiful on her. It's really simple, really casual but at the same time you're making the point. Do you get what I mean? Zainab, 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 Zainab the married woman. 
she looks cute and everything the upside of the dress like the actual dress itself looks good i sent her looking at the picture you would feel like uh she made an actual dress and last minute they decided to attach the flip part because it looks like it's coming apart or maybe that's the style but regardless the flip part does not make the outfit look good the ruffles the two loops or two lips i don't know what they call it at the end the black mesh up things net it doesn't make the outfit look good like i don't know honestly like anyway she's stunning and she looks beautiful linda osifo when i saw her outfit i was like yes girl yes you came to slay they didn't come to slay you you came to slay like when i saw the scarf she wore immediately what came to my mind was when rihanna wore that yellow yellow stuff when she had like this red like fiery red hair with the orange stuff years ago and i was just like velvet you can never go wrong with velvet with some forest it looks really soft really mushy and i like how her makeup is really not too much it's just really simple when your dress has a lot going on you put the simplest makeup and you just go with black hair you don't go with like different colors because you just want your dress to stand out i feel like this was a good choice there's bolande i was like bolande you came to slay because i I was so happy she actually made a video of her outfit because when you look at the picture you'll be like nah bro this didn't go then you look at the video and you're like wow her color is actually popping the orange the orange outfit really complements her skin it's like stunning it's like wow wow girl you killed it i really like it it reminds me of bam bam's outfit but this one they made it more flurry and they they didn't make it like a ball gown like bama's outfit looked like cinderella how big you know bama's outfit from last time but i really like the outfit she can like it I like how it's like the bow tie is that big. It's like I want to show my curls, but at the same time, I don't want to let myself look too loose. I want to be modest because I'm not of the age of the young people. That's the vibe I get. I'm not your maid. I can still sleep. Okay? She looks stunning. Love. Love her outfit. Her Bambam's outfit is just like. I like it and I don't like it. Let me tell you why. So I like the mixture of the color. It's like a jasmine color from Aladdin and Jasmine. The blue, the green, everything is like, oh no, no, no. Yes, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, she looks like she's going for a show and she's a mistress to the king. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm tired of seeing this type of style on her. Like, yeah, it's just most of her clothes these days. It's always this ruffles, ruffles, ruffles. Is that the new trend in Nigeria? Nigeria, everything has to be like things like those nets, those like nets mixed together and sewed together. Is there not something else that we can make to make our dressing look um, outgoing? Everything just seems to be those ruffles in different color mesh together. If her designer, I understand like she makes custom, um, I understand that she wears custom made outfits, but this let's move towards the era of something else. It mustn't always be ruffles, ruffles, ruffles mixed together or fur, fur, fur when it comes to bam bam. Let's see something else, maybe asymmetry. Let us try some Stephanie Coke outfit on her. Do you get, do you get what I'm trying to say? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, Visola. I like Visola's outfit. Outfit. It's okay, it's cute, it's a really bright color and everything. I like how everything is just, all the colors are just in the middle. Then everything just come up with black. I feel like that's a beautiful look, it looks stunning in your hair. So Tiana came to slay, we just have to take note of that. Tiana literally went all out. Not all out, it's like, you know when all those friends are be like, uh, I'm not gonna dress that much, when they come out and you be like, is this what you say, you're not gonna dress that much. Tiana looks really beautiful. Like, I know she's been on a lot of accessories, but it's like, with white, you can go that far. Because white is plain, and sometimes you can get lost in the sauce, in your skin tone, if you get what I mean. So Tiana looks really, really beautiful. She looks stunning. I really like the fringe. I really like the side thingy. I really like the gala she has on. I feel like this was such a beautiful look for her. Like, she's a mother of how many? Two. She looks gorgeous. I like how it's not long, because they always make long thing and everything. I really like her outfit and I feel like we should recognize her more because she always pushes the boundary with her things. Everything on check, her makeup is minimal and everything. Honestly, I think she's my best look, but it's up to you guys to decide. So don't forget to leave a comment what you think. This is all I have to say for you guys today. If you like what I said, leave a comment and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share and bye!